MGSoft Netcom Browser 2021 version 9 release introduces many new features and functionalities, including some major ones, like support for NMDA, for example. This video briefly presents these new features. Full support for NMDA data stores and NMDA operations. The original concept of candidate running and startup data stores has evolved into a more complex concept that supports more advanced processing chains uh, of converting configuration to operational state. Uh, this concept is called uh, Network Management Data Store Architecture or NMDA and it is the next big thing in NetConf and RESConf configuration management. We are very excited to announce that Netcom Browser 2021 fully supports the NMDA. Uh, it supports all data stores specified in NMDA, operational, conventional, that is startup running, candidate and intended, as well as dynamic di data stores. The software visualizes the data stores in separate tabs uh, in the main window. Uh, you know, NMDA data stores can have different schemas and in such case a different set of Yang modules uh, will be shown in each tab. Um, you can click the tabs uh, in the Yang tree panel to switch between the data stores, uh, expand the Yang trees separately uh, and of course select the NetConf operation from the context menu. Like this. To use the NMDA specific edit data operation, select the conventional tab and choose, for example, the interfaces container and select the edit data compose running data store from the context menu. Uh, this retrieves the actual running configuration from the server and displays it in the netconf content editor window where you can edit uh, the configuration and send it back to the server. Um, in this example we'll disable this interface by setting the uh, enabled leaf uh, node to false and then send the configuration back to the server and the server responds with OK. Uh, that's how simple it is to modify a configuration of a server. Another great new feature we are sure that many users will find extremely useful is the full support for Yang Library 1.1. As you may know, it is now mandatory for an NMDA compliant server to implement the Yang library 1.1. However, what is fascinating is how simple it is to take advantage of this capability in NetConf browser. The software lets you create a device profile in just a few clicks and use it to connect to an NMDA capable server uh, that implements the Yang library 1.1, that's ITF Yang library uh, at 2019 module, and uh, the software will automatically discover the data store supported by the server, uh, their schemas and Yang modules in each data store. Netcom Browser um, can also automatically download the Yang modules belonging to each data store and visualize the supported data stores uh, in the Yang tree panel um, in separate tabs, as shown here. The whole new world of possibilities is offered by the newly implemented feature called the diff view. This feature lets you easily compare configurations of two different NetConf or RESTConf devices or two different configuration data stores on one device. The retrieved configurations are shown side by side in the diff view window where you can easily find the mismatching nodes or matching nodes or show only orphans or similar. This window features also the text mode when you can compare the configurations in XML. Another great feature that boosts the automation in Netcom Browser is the full support for NMDA in the embedded Netcom scripting console. 
the MGSoft NetConf script API that is integrated in the NetConf browser application has been updated to provide full support for NMDA. New classes and methods allow you to programmatically use all the NMDA specific operations like get data, edit data, as well as interact with uh, all NMDA data stores. Let's see. And in this script, we can, we'll create a new interface uh, by using the edit data operation. And the server responded with the OK. Now you can use the popular Python scripting language to perform automated tasks like testing, configuring and monitoring of NMDA compliant NetConf devices as well as non-NMDA devices. There are no limits. In addition to supporting the NMDA in the NetConf protocol, NetConf browser now provides full support also for the NMDA in the RESTConf protocol, so no NMDA device will be left unmanaged. Upon establishing a RESTConf session with the server, NetConf browser can discover the data stores supported by the server and download the Yang modules from it. Uh, the software allows you to interact with all the NMDA data stores by supporting the new data store resources, which is RESTConf DS. Uh, and then we can choose the uh, supported data stores. It's really that simple to compose the URI target uh, resource for the RESTConf GET operation, for example. Click the send button to retrieve the information from the RESTConf server. Of course, RESTConf operations can be also performed directly on the Yang3 nodes, like this, for example. And last but not least, as you've probably noticed throughout this video, the NetConf browser user interface now features also the dark theme. Well, Dark Team offers a slick modern look uh, that is aesthetically pleasing to the eye and may also reduce eye strain in prolonged use. And you can always switch between the classic or white theme and the dark theme uh, from the program preferences, um, like this. Well, that would be all for this video and we hope that these exciting new features will encourage you to download the 2021 version of NetCom Browser and give it a try yourself. Thank you for your attention!